Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into the main system and the frequencies that's on the main system. And as you can see we have a oscilloscope to enable us to do this. Currently our oscilloscope is actually grounded to the garden through this connection right here and this the other end of this connection is an 8 foot ground rod that is far away from any electrical systems that is embedded into my garden. The tip of the probe connects into the live connection of the house and we are currently measuring the frequencies on that connection using a fast Fourier transform that this oscilloscope has. As you can see on the left we've got the 60 hertz and then we've got the what's known as the odd harmonics and you can generally see them at below a kilohertz on this system and they're very uh, repetitive at 120 hertz spacing. And it's kind of normal to see on a system that has electronic loads. So we've just gone up to 100 hertz per division and you can see that they fall off quite rapidly. So I'm going to expand out the range of the oscilloscope out to 1 megahertz a division. The thing I want you to pay attention to is the noise that you can see. And it's a characteristic of AC power generation is that you get this noisy frequency spectrum and that's generally caused by all the loads that are on the system. When the waveform is generated at the power plant it generally is almost perfect. But by the time it's gone through the whole transmission distribu distribution system and also you know uh, any kind of electronic generation such as a solar power system or a wind turbine uh, will put extra frequencies in there and everybody's loads also adds to the frequency content and it generates this random level of noise which is higher than the background oscilloscope level and uh, if it gets too high you can actually start getting radio waves coming off the system so it's something to be aware of as a power engineer that this actually occurs on noisy AC waveforms and it's commonly in the industry known as dirty electricity. So I'm going to disconnect the probe and just keep a, an eye on the display and you should actually see it drop. So the probe is now disconnected and we can see that a lot of that electrical noise has far reduced in value. And we're going to do one last thing, we're going to ground the probe to its connection and that's our base level for the instrument. So the instrumentation will actually generate some level of noise and this is the level of noise that this particular instrument generates. As you can see it's much lower and uh, it's what you should expect before you actually start reading anything. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.